eating? Yes. See, previous class, which lesson we have studied? Which lesson we have studied? A lesson. What's the lesson name? David Copperfield goes to a new school. David Copperfield goes to a new school. Have you read lesson? Yes, I think you have understood last previous class. Am I right? Yes. Here, I will continue today. Shall I ask you questions? Shall I remind you? Who was David's new headmaster? Who was David's new headmaster? Who? Dr. Strong. Dr. Strong. Yes. After school, where did David hurriedly go? Where? Whose home? Mr. Wickfield's. Mr. Wickfield's home. Shall I continue? Yes, listen. Open your textbook, page number 21. Page number 21. Little by little, I lost my feeling of strangeness. I began to like Dr. Strong and the boys. I like them better every day. After a fortnight, Mr. Wickfield asked me, Do you want to stay here? I answered quickly with a S. See what happened. David did not feel good in new school first day. Am I right? Yeah. Why like that happened? Why how he was? How David was different from other students? How different? David had never had regular schooling. Next point. Yes, he was not familiar with their game. Because of these reasons, he was away from them. Right? Yes. Now what happened day by day, this little by little, he lost his afraid or shine ashamed. He told no ashamed and afraid. We saw feeling little by little he lost. Now he is going good. I began to like Dr. Strong. Who was Dr. Strong? His headmaster and the boys, other children. He started to like them. I like them better every day. See here one word, better, better. Better. We have studied in previous class about degrees of comparison. Better. Which degree of comparison? Better. Which degree? This one, comparative degree, comparative degree. What is the positive degree and superlative degree? Please remember and you should tell in evening class. What is the positive degree and superlative degree of better? It is comparative degree. Understood? Yes. After a fortnight. What is that fortnight? Fortnight. See, F-O-R-T, fortnight. N-I-G-H-T, fortnight. It is one word. Okay, fortnight means what is that? A period of 14 days or 2 weeks. It is 14 days, period of 2 weeks. After a fortnight, means after 14 days, Mr. Wickfield asked me, what he asked? Do you want to stay here? Do you like to stay here? David answered, yes. 
is very happy to stay there where Mr. Wickfield's house. Why? Mr. Wickfield treated him kindly and his daughter, what's her name? Agnes, meeting him all or welcoming him with smiling face always helps him to complete the homework. So totally David likes that home. So he told as I like to stay here. Good, said Mr. Bigfield with a smile. Mr. Bigfield also liked. I'm glad to hear that. We like having you here, don't we, Agnes? Yes, yes, she answered eagerly. See, Agnes also liked. See one word, ah, ah. I am. Um, what is this? Upper one punctuation mark equal. Now what is this? This word? Is it comma? No. What is this? It is apostrophe. Apostrophe. I apostrophe yum. It is short form of I am. I am. This one expand form. It is short form. This one I am. This one, arm, 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 am, arm. What is that? That is, that is auxiliary or helping verb. I, first person, singular, from. I'm glad to hear that. Glad means happy. We like having you here. Like, what's the Antony word? Like, dislike. Don't we Agnes? He asked Agnes. Do you like to stay David here? Yes, she also told. Yes, yes, I also liked. I spent seven happy years at Dr. Strong's school. He was pleased with my progress and so was my auntie. My auntie also happy here. I spent, spent one more form C. Yes, P E N T. Which word go form this one? Which tense word go form? Spent. Yes, P E N T. What is this? Yes, it is past tense word go form. Which is the present tense word go form? Spend. Spend. Yes, P E N D. Spend. Okay, spend. Spend. He spent his servant. Happy years at Dr. Strong's school means now where is he which school? That's new school. That is his happy years. Several years he studied there. He was pleased, happy with my progress. Progress means improvement. David improved a lot. See every year after year, one year. You will get progress report. Am I right? Yes. If you get all A plus, your teachers, your family members, your friends, all and you also. Very happy, no? Like that, here David also got his progress, his improvement. Here is his headmaster, Dr. Strong, his auntie, all. Observed progress on him. So, all they all happy, happy. Every month I went to Dover to see her. Who's her here? Auntie Bitsy. Mr. Dick came to see me every Wednesday when we had a half holiday. Every Wednesday, Mr. Dick will come to meet him. Why he will come on Wednesday only? Wednesday, they have half day school. For us, Saturday half day school. For them, Wednesday. Wednesday. Do you know spelling Wednesday? Wednesday spelling W-E-D. 
N E S D A Y. When I stay here, D silent. Okay, when I stay. Who will come there? Mr. Dick will come. Who was Mr. Dick? Mr. Dick was mentally challenged older man and who was ill-treated by his family. Miss Vici treated him, taken care of him. Yes. He always brought his kite with him, always with him. What he will bring? Kite. Kite he will bring. Children like to play. Am I right? So they don't know this Mr. Dick. Always he brings kite. All the boys loved Mr. Dick. On windy days, windy days is more air, air, wind, that windy days. We went with him to a hill nearby. Went, that is, verb past form, past tense form, which is the present verb tense form. Go, go, went. There, he flew his kite and spread his ideas. Flew, that is past tense verb form. Flew. What is the present tense verb form? F L E W, that is past tense verb form, which is the present tense verb form. Fly. Fly, F L Y, fly. And spread, here spread, that is. That is past tense verb form, which is the present form, spread only, spread, present, spread, past tense verb form, not spread, that is wrong, spread, present, spread, past verb form, okay, spread, that is wrong. Mr. Dick was very clever, with his hands. He could cut apples and potatoes into the strangest shapes. The strangest shapes. He was able to make boards and hats out of paper. The boys admired him for his skill and cleverness. Mr. Dick was very clever like you only. He will cut Different shapes of apple, potatoes. He will cut different strangest shape, different shapes, funny shapes, and all. He will cut very speed also. And one more thing with paper, he will make many craft things, board, hats, and he will make. Last year he did not paper craft, many paper crane, fork. Camera like that you did not like that. Very clever. Who? Mr. Dick. The boys admired him for his skill and cleverness. Other students, other children also admired him, appreciated him. Turn next page. Turn next page. Mr. Dick had great respect for Dr. Strong. He respects Dr. Strong. He always took his hat off when Dr. Strong spoke to him. He did not put it on till the conversation was over. Here, hat off means it shows admiration, admiration. Little by little, the two became great friends. Who are they two here? Mr. Dick. And Dr. Strong. Dr. Strong was writing a book at this time. He always read parts of it aloud to Mr. Dick. Mr. Dick used to listen, his eyes shining with joy, but he could not understand one word of it. But Dick, Mr. Dick, he did not understand. One word of it, he listens, he enjoys, but he did not understand a word. Have you understood what I taught? Yes, you understood, no? Good. 
Now see, yes, my ears in Canterbury were happy ones. Now change David now. Before it was not good, troubled. He was upset. He lost his mother. Auntie treated him, taken care of him. He joined or admitted new school. Here he improved a lot and progressed or liked him. Seven years his life in Canterbury is very happy ones. Very happy ones. See my question here. On which day Mr. Dick come to meet David? Which day? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Another question. After school, where did David hurriedly go? Where did he go? David hurriedly home to Mr. Bigfields. Am I right? Yes. Now, see, there is one activity. Let us look it up. Let us look it up. Arrange the following words in the order that you would find them in the dictionary. Means, you should write in alphabetical order. Have you remembered alphabetical order? What is that alphabetical order means? What is that? A, B, C order. A, B, C, D, E, F, T, Z. That's alphabetical order. See word. Order, joy, show, strength, skill, she, allow. These all you should write yourself in classwork. Okay. Now come. Comprehension. See their comprehension. Choose the correct answer and fill in the blanks. There are few options. Choose correct option and tick. Dash. School had a great reputation. Who had? Dr. Strong, Mr. Preckles, Mr. Wickfields, Mr. Dix. Which is the correct option here? Dr. Strong. You tick them. Second one, B. Mr. Strong introduced the young boy. Yes. Dash for perfect. Which is the correct option here? True to it. True to it. C. David spent days years at Dr. Strong's school. How many years? Seven. D. The half holiday in the school was on dash. Which day? Wednesday. E. Mr. Dick had great respect for Dash. Now we have studied Dr. Strong. Dr. Strong. Next activity number two. Put a tick if the sentence is correct or a cross mark if it is wrong. First statement. First statement. David had Arrived happy and content in Dover. Is this correct? No, it is wrong. You should put cross mark. Cross mark. In front of that statement, you should put cross mark. B. Agnes was mostly impolite with David. This statement wrong. Cross mark. C. Dr. Strong would cut apples and potatoes in strange shapes. Dr. Strong should would cut it all here. Is it correct? Who is there? Who will cut? He could, he could cut the who? Mr. Dick, no? Here we were. Dr. Strong. So this statement wrong. D. Gradually, Mr. Dick and Dr. Strong became good friends. It is correct statement. Tick mark. E. David's years in Canterbury were sad ones. Is it correct? No. Seven years he spent here. Where? Canterbury. It is happy ones. But here he was sad ones. It is a wrong statement. It is wrong, wrong statement in what you should put. You should put cross mark. You should put 
cross mark. Understood now? Next one. See children. Remaining question answers I will give next class. Okay. And you should write today. So what I taught you that meanings and turning words. You should write in class work. And you should practice these are difficult the words spelling also. Shall I stop today's class here? Yes. Thank you.